check. Check, check, test, test. Okay, those of you watching this right now, you're watching the video on demand while I'm trying to troubleshoot a really just incomprehensible problem. Um, but it looks like it's working now, so I'm going to I'm gonna go make it live so that people can actually see me. I'm private right now, so it's just you and me. But <clears throat> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it live. I've got a stable connection now for some reason. Don't know why. I didn't change anything. Watch, the moment I turn this public, it's going to freak out. All right, we're public. People are going to start filing in now. If you're watching the VOD. Hopefully this works. There we go. I'm starting to see people coming in. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. I don't. I don't know what's wrong. I. I. I, I don't know what's wrong, and I'm so frustrated. And I, I wish I knew what was wrong. I don't understand why it works, and it works, and it works, and it works for months at a time. And then I'll just have these, these weeks where it doesn't work. And I don't change anything. I don't do anything differently. And then it suddenly works. And I don't know why. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I could at least get a failure that's predictable so that I know what the problem is and then I can diagnose the problem. But when it works, it's incomprehensible. It doesn't, I, it doesn't make sense. What, like the reason it's working now, all I did differently is I'm now streaming only to YouTube instead of going to my rebroadcaster and streaming simultaneously to Facebook, Kick, Twitch, and YouTube, which I've done successfully for years. I am now streaming just to YouTube. And it doesn't make any sense because that shouldn't interfere with my uh, interact with my connection. Streaming to my multi-broadcaster shouldn't interfere with the connection that I'm sending to the internet. And yet that's the only thing I changed that's now working. I don't get it. I've restarted the computer. I, I, I tried broadcasting through the browser instead of my broadcasting software. I've, I've tried so many different things and it's just, I tried connecting directly to the back of my computer instead of to my splitter. I tried my Verizon network. I've, I've tried everything. I don't get it. I don't get it. So I, I think I'm gonna try Starlink. I mean, my only explanation is that it's a Comcast issue, but you already know my history with Comcast and all of the struggles I've had with them. Like uh, the. They won't do anything. Like they, they can't fi figure out the problem. They don't see the problem. They pr they go gaslight me. They pretend like I'm making it up. Th they send guys here and th they'll go through the whole rigmarole and they never see anything wrong because of course the problem never happens while they're here. And they say, sorry, there's nothing we can do about it. Probably just a glitch in the in the infrastructure and it'll get fixed up. A storm blew through last week. It'll, it'll, it'll fix itself. And this is my job. Like this is what I, this is my job. And I don't know how to fix it. So Starlink is available in my area now. Um, the upload speeds aren't as good as Comcast. So I don't know if it's going to be a viable solution. But I'll never know until I try. And this, I can't do this. I can't keep doing this. So, but I'm back. I'm back. And so far, we've got a solid, steady connection. So I'm going to keep pressing on. And I feel bad mostly for the people who put in a bunch of super chats and super tips before I could read them um, because I lost them. I, I know that Brand that uh, there, there were a number of people who had really generous super chats and super tips and I'm sorry I can't see them. But the first 15 minutes of the broadcast are saved. The video is currently um, unlisted but I'm going to make it public after the broadcast and then everyone will be able to see your donations and super chats in the chat playback at that time. So Again, thanks to everybody who contributed while I was trying to figure this out. And special thanks to everybody who decided to come back. <laughs> I mean, you guys have the patience of saints. You really do. I mean, the fact that you guys keep coming back, even though I, I, I keep having these problems, it's just really humbling, and I appreciate it. Anyway, as long as I'm able to maintain a connection, we're going to play a game tonight. 
and it's going to be fun. So it's good to see everybody who came back. Brandon Beltfed, Changed One, Sean Fernando, Nick Barnhouse, Alt Grendel, Jeff Day, Sesh the Cat, Mr. Anderson, Ludi Coden, Pickles the Junkyard Cat, and it's Men of War with the latest super chat in today's broadcast. Sometimes it just doesn't work, right? Like Todd said, yes. I'm sure this is, uh, this is a problem, a frustrating issue that uh, everyone at Bethesda, including Mr. Howard, have gone through time and time again. Colonel 87th says, what did I miss? Give me a summary. I mean, you just missed me banging my fist against the wall and thumping my head and screaming to the gods. <sighs> That's all you missed. And it wasn't worth broadcasting anyway, so we're all good. Urarararar says, you have to feed the hamsters that run the wheel the internet in your house is powered by. Duh. Well, no, I figured starved hamsters are going to work just as, just as well, right? If they want food, they're going to work harder for it. There's logic there, right? Starve the hamsters, get better internet. Aaron Barlow says, uh, that's so frustrating, but I'm happy you're back. I'm happy I'm back, too. I just wish I knew what I did. I, why am I back? How am I? I don't know what I did. Like, I just, I just do things until it works, and I don't know which thing I did is the thing that made it work. Or if it's even up to me. And it's just, at this point, I feel, feel like there's this magical force that just puts its thumb on me and then just releases me for a moment just to see me have a moment of joy and then puts its thumb on me again and then releases me to mess with me. That's what is going on now. John M says, I was starting to have Oxhorn withdrawal symptoms. I'm, I'm having symptoms. Just a wide range of symptoms. They're going to put me in a clinic at this point. This keeps going on. Mark from Sales says, uh, I'll go platinum to help offset the costs if you give Elon a shot. I mean, part of me doesn't want to give Elon a shot for, for his lack of support for Ukraine. That's been pissing me off. Uh, and yet, at this point, <laughs> it's my only option. I tried Verizon. That's another thing that bothers me. Usually, Verizon saves my ass. But I, I tried Verizon yesterday, and I couldn't go live. And I tried it just now, and it also was just as bad. Which led me to believe that it wasn't... It wasn't a network issue, it was some sort of computer problem, which is why I started trying to change things with the software that I was running, trying to f figure out that way. But the really, really annoying thing is every time I do a speed test, it comes back beautiful. The speed test says I've got a strong and amazing connection. So I don't, I don't, I just don't know. I just don't know, <laughs> but I'm back. I'm back I'm, and we're gonna have fun. Uh, Indigo the Blue Gem says, Hey Ox, want to say hi, and I am doing much better since I last chatted. I have a new job I'm actually happy at, and I find myself in better spirits. Hope the game is fun for you. Thank you very much. I don't know very much about it, but it looked like an interesting game, and I think we're all going to have a good time diving through it today. Congratulations to you, Indigo the Blue Gem. Ludi Coden says, Comcast is owned by AT&T. Maybe that has something to do with it, considering the current news. I I'm not up with the current news. Uh, so I, I'm not exactly sure. I just don't know at this point. I mean, for the longest time, I thought it was Comcast. And, you know, maybe it is Comcast. And last year when I was having these problems, the speed test would actually reflect the problems that I was seeing. But now it's not. And now I'm having them even when I switch networks to Verizon. So I, I don't know. Like, at this point, I don't know. Wandering Paladin says, hey, Ox, happy four-year anniversary. Uh, he's been a member for 48 months. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Wandering Paladin. Sean Fernango, a member for 61 months, says, I'm glad to see you're on even having a crazy week. Crazy, I was crazy. Once they locked me in a room, a rubber room. <laughs> Hopefully it won't get that bad for me. I like my arms free. I don't want to be in a straight jacket. Rachel says, I would like a golden beard for a five-year badge. That's a great idea. Golden beards. I'm going to make a note to myself for when I talk to YouTube about this. Wonderful. Thank you, Rachel. Throwing Stream says, Hi, Ox. Have you ever played Magic the Gathering? If not, give it a try. They have just made Fallout Commander deck. The four face commander are Dogmeat, Caesar, the Wise Mothman, and Madison Lee. Uh, you know, I've never played uh, uh, Magic the Gathering. It was big when I was a child. I, I remember many of my high school friends in, in my circle were really into the card game. And I don't know why, but it never really resonated with me. It wasn't something that I was terribly interested in. Um, 
but maybe I'll maybe I'll pick it up. Who knows? Maybe I'll go check it out. Thank you, throwing stream. Man of Warb says different ways to tell your dad that you've failed an exam. <clears throat> the cryptic math method. Dad, a drunk is fighting and insulting ladies every day. The blunt method. Dad, I failed. The buttering up method. Hiya, Dad. Awesome shirt. Right. These are very interesting, Man of Warb. Is that the full joke? Is that a joke? Is that, is that everything? Or is there a part two or three to this? I, I'm going to assume that it is because it doesn't quite make sense to me yet, but thank you very much for your contribution. Were me, a member for 35 months, says now we shall see the Ox Rage emote in real life. I have been raging very quietly to myself, but I, I, now that I'm on camera, I think I'll rein that back a little bit. Rachel says 100% your connection is a vault Tech experiment. It must be. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're messing with me to see what how far I can go. How far they can push me until I explode. Mr. Red says, Fun fact, if you don't get the data for Ingram, you can do the Brotherhood of Steel quest all the way to Spoils of War with Dance, and he has unique dialogue during it. If you don't get the data for Ingram, okay. That's interesting. I might have to check that out when I do the Brotherhood of Steel ending. Um, I hope I remember it at that time. Thank you very much, Mr. Red. Random Gray Main says, Ox, you do know that AT&T and Verizon both had outages the last two days? No. Interesting. And you said AT&T now owns Comcast. Well, but that wouldn't explain the outages that I've had in the past, because this has been a historical problem for me, uh, particularly on Wednesdays, and, um, yeah. It would explain the Verizon outage, because usually Verizon is dependable. They've saved my bacon many times in the past. KT says, having a hard time right now, and boy, am I glad you are able to do the show so far. Got caught up the moment with a toxic ex. And it reopened old wounds. KT, I'm so sorry to hear about that. There's really nothing worse I can think of than a toxic ex. But I hope you're, you're able to distance yourself and surround yourself with um, people who know you and love you and accept you and are your cheerleaders and who are on your side. Those people will definitely help fortify your mind. Tim Judge says, well, now that you're back, I'll restate my suggestion for a game. Ha ha. Pacific Drive. Looks meant for you. Had that one recommended numerous times in the past. Uh, something I'm going to have to take a look at for those reasons. Pacific Drive. Making a note of it. Thank you very much. Colonel 87th says, why don't you just go for a quad PC setup? A quad PC setup? I don't understand. You want me to have four PCs? Why? One for gaming, one for streaming. What do I need the other two for? Maybe let me know and I'll consider it. Thank you, Colonel 87th. Mark from Sales upgraded membership to Platinum Ox. Mark from Sa Sales, you're so kind. I, I so deeply appreciate your generosity. Um, I am humbled. I am humbled. Thank you so much, and I'm glad you're here. Duet Maxwell says, Hi, Ox. I saved my first super chat to ask this, but can you give a shout out to my girlfriend, Hoshi? It's her birthday tomorrow. And that is Duet Maxwell's first super chat. Thank you so much, Duet. And major shout out to Hoshi. Happy birthday tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Uh, it's good to have both of you on the program today. Thank you very much, Duet. And congratulations again, Hoshi. Chidinator says, Hey, Ox. Glad we're back. Maybe? There were six question marks in that particular comment. I had to go exaggerate it a bit. <clears throat> this week has been rough for me. It seems like everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. At the point where if I finish the week alive, then it'll be a success. Trust me, I've been there. I've had my share of bad weeks. <laughs> like the week where my computer exploded, and then the week where I can't seem to go live for any reason whatsoever. Uh, yeah, uh, I've had my fair share of bad weeks, but 
the good news is that we all get uh, ups and downs. We get peaks. We get valleys. We get times of pain and times of plenty. I mean, this was said all the way back in the days of Ecclesiastes. We know this, right? So as long as we just stick through it, surround ourselves with people who care about us, and try, try to take a look at the silver lining and maintain a positive outlook. We will get through it. There are better days ahead. There's always sunshine behind every cloud. So thank you very much, Chininator. I hope things are going to be getting better for you and you can find some way to maintain some positivity. But I'm glad you're here. We're here for our great broadcast. We're going to have some fun. Man of Warp says, uh, taking in a confidence method. Oh, this is a continuation of the previous joke. Um, I'm sure we all remember where we left off. Taking into confidence method. Dad, I've got some bad news. Please don't tell mom. You know how upset she gets. Bad news, good news method. <clears throat> Dad, I failed all my exams. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I only failed one. I see where this is going, Man of War. Uh... And well, we'll just have to wait to see if there's any more. Thank you, Man of Warb. Cheng Yang says, good evening, Ox. Good evening, Cheng Yang. Good to have you on the program today. You missed all the excitement. <laughs> but trust me, you didn't want to be there for it. You're here for the best part. Robert Downs says, hey, Ox, saw this game on a YouTube clip. I look forward to your playing of it. And yes, to Pacific Drive. Looks right up your alley. Thank you very much, Robert Downs. That's two for Pacific Drive. I'll have to definitely consider it. And I'm glad you've seen this game and you think I'll like it. Jessica Kindred says, Hey, Ox, did you hear about the guy who lost his left arm? It's okay. He's all right. Coffee. Irish coffee. Hmm. It got cold. All that time fiddling with my connection and it goes cold. Oh, well, we got scotch. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jessica Kindred. Lovely contribution there. Love the dad jokes. Tilly says, I'm loving my ox plushie. Now I've seen my fair share of horror movies. Does he come with any rules like uh, my gizmo? My gremlin plushie? Like, if his cigar burns out or drinks scotch without ice, am I safe, lol? There was only one rule with the Oxhorn plushie. If you don't want things to go badly, make sure his cigar never falls off. It's attached by a single piece of thread, and he likes his cigar. He likes holding it in his mouth, and if anything were to happen, where the cigar would just fall off for some reason? Well, I can promise you, the ox plushie would not be pleased. So just bear that in mind, it's probably nothing you need to worry about. Probably. Lucky Shot gifted one Oxhorn membership to the community. Thank you so much, Lucky Shot. Julian Z says, hi Ox, good to see you on the Scotch and Smoke Rings. Sorry about your internet issues. Any updates on the PC or is it still cooking? Also, have you thought of replacing your streaming rig? Um, the, the PC is still cooking. Uh, they're still getting gathering all of the parts, but they're building it, and it'll be here eventually. I don't know when. They're not going to give me a shipping timeline until they actually build the thing, so i got to wait for them to finish that first. But rest assured, I'll keep you in the loop. I'll let you know as soon as I know anything more. As for replacing my streaming rig... Uh, maybe... Anytime I change anything, though, I, I, I open up for an opportunity for some crazy gremlin to enter the machine, and I, I don't want to do that. Like, I decided to take out my water-cooled components for this computer, and that decision, I think, is partly responsible for all of the problems I've been having with it up till now. So I'm hesitant to make any changes, but yeah. I should probably up upgrade my streaming rig as well. Wormy says, Pacific Drive is definitely up your lootaholic tendency. Is it really? Great. Well, that's three for Pacific Drive. Sesh the Cat says, what do you get if you cross a pirate and a crocodile? I don't know either. But when it says, Polly wants a cracker, you'd better give it one. Right, because it has teeth. 
and a death twirl mechanism. Okay, thank you for that one, Sesh the Cat. Colonel 87th says, uh, I was saying two CPUs that are dual sync. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I'm, I'll have to look that one up. I'm going to make a note to myself. I mean, a single i9 should be powerful enough to do anything that I want to do. But, you know, maybe I should... Uh, I mean, I think what, what you're describing would require a specific type of motherboard that supports two CPUs, if one even exists. This is something I'm unfamiliar with. But thank you, Colonel 87th. I'll have to look that up later. Mr. Red says, I wanted to say you should do a video on the Fallout 4 Unique Uniques mod. It changes 30 named vanilla legendary weapons and gives them a unique effect and design. I've had people recommend that mod to me, and yeah, that seems like something I'd really enjoy. I'm going to make a note. Thank you, Mr. Red. Rachel says, A man robbed a grocery store while sitting on the shoulder of two vampires. He was charged with robbery on two counts. Just this elaborate, Rachel. This is... That's completely unnecessary. I've got to Im imagine a man sitting on the shoulders of a vampire, but not one vampire, not like a vampire carrying a man, fireman style. No, it's he's sitting on the shoulders of two vampires. So you've got two vampires walking side by side and then a man sitting on the shoulders like that. And they've got to maintain that balance. And in this state, they all rob some somebody, a grocery store just so that we can get the payoff of robbery, robbery on two counts. Um, I like it. It's definitely, it's, it's, well, it's a dad joke is what that is. Thank you very much, Rachel. Lucky Shot gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Lucky Shot. And congratulations to Alec Woods, Clyde Kelly, Devin Moreau, Slammin' Smitty, and Duck Inip. Thank you very much all. Nuka Tom with a very generous super chat. Thank you so much, Nuka Tom. I saw... Your other one come in just as I started to have all of those connectivity issues. Thank you for coming back. I'm so glad you're here. He says, tonight on Scotch and Smoke Rings, our savior in the stylish chapeau will crawl through the crannies and crevices of caves meant for no man to meander. Will what's waiting for him in the depths claim its prey? Don't touch that dial. Don't look away. And do not blink. Very dramatic, as usual, Nuka Tom. I love it. Thank you so much. Scarecrow Kaiser says the MTG Fallout cards are cool. Great art on them. I look forward to seeing the art. Tilly says, lol, I knew it. I've seen Trilogy of Terror, so I'll make sure his cigar stays lit <laughs> and in hand. No, it's in mouth. The cigar does no good in his hand. Who walks around holding a cigar? Like, just... I mean, maybe when I'm talking, I might use it to gesticulate, but then at some point, it has to go back in the mouth. So I, I'm, I'm, I just, this is... I'm encouraging you, Tilly, keep the cigar in his mouth, not in hand. No hands, no, in the mouth, and then all will be well. Jeff Day says, I'm going to have to remember that all right joke from my mom who had a left leg amputated. Unfortunately, lol, that wasn't me. That was him. He, he laughed at his own mother's amputated left leg. Thank you for that. Oh, oh Jeff, uh, <coughs> Jeff, lol, lol indeed, Jeff. Thank you so much for finding the humor in maternal amputation. Because we had to find some there. That's great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeff. Ma Man of Warp says, uh, depressive. Uh, this is a continuation of uh, what is now his three-part dad joke, uh, going through the different various methods of telling your dad that you failed an exam. <clears throat> and here's the depressive method. Weeping. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting uh, director notes. I've got to be weeping here. <laughs> Dad, I'm useless. I'm a failure. I failed. I'll never disgrace you ever again. I'm going to end it all. 
And then there's the playing stupid method. Dad, I don't know what this card says. How could you tell me what it says? Well, these are all very interesting ways of telling your dad that you failed an exam. Is there like, um, well, is there one that's better than the other? Or are we just going through like an exercise in, in acting and lying? I don't know, but thank you for that one, man of war. Tilly gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Tilly. Congratulations to KT, Hellcat, uh, Ant444, Chris S, and Richard, and then Ludi Coden coming in with 20 Oxhorn memberships for the community. I can't even read all of these. Thank you so much, Ludi Coden. So kind, so generous. You are the best community ever. Lucky Shot says, since you're taking notes, can you add an updated Fallout Shrine video? Yeah. I need to do that, don't I? Though I have been toying with the idea of, instead of doing an updated Fallout Shrine video, um, showcasing individual pieces in the form of shorts. Like doing a short showing off my Nuka Cola bottles, doing a short showing off my Starfield props, so on and so forth. Maybe that would be better? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Finger Feet says, nice to see you live. Thank you very much, Finger Feet. Good to have you on the broadcast today. David Garanson says, you should consider raffling off your old rig. Put the NVME drives and uh, offer it up for nostalgia. Uh... BYW looking for size appropriate tassels for the plushie. Size appropriate tassels for the plushie. Where are you going to put the tassels? Is it not going to. Oh, like from the brim of the hat, like a sombrero? Like tassels hanging down? Like a. S okay. I know that's what you meant. <clears throat> I would try doll stores. Sure, surely there's going to be a doll store that sells size appropriate tassels. That's going to be an interesting Google history search on your computer later tonight. <clears throat> Good luck. Good luck. Uh. Bustavo Plays says, uh, still at work, but I will still listen. How do you not get distracted with your monitor like that? My ADHD would make me go insane. It took some getting used to. Before this, I was really used to a uh, uh, three-monitor setup, but after I got used to it, you know, it, I like it. It makes video editing a lot, uh, a lot easier. Colonel Lady Seventh says, uh, I was saying two computers sync as one and then another one just like it for everything else. But that would have to go through a network. Perhaps I'm not understanding what you're suggesting, Colonel 87th, but if I was to be using two computers synced together and then taking advantage of both of their CPUs in order to process the editing of footage on another computer that I'm using to edit or on one of the other ones that I'm using to edit, the only way I would be able to do that, aside from, what, connecting the motherboards through a PCIe slot is through a network connection. And... In that case, we would be limited by the constraints of an Ethernet port, which would negate any benefit I would get from an additional CPU, which needs instant processing power, right? Again, I'm ignorant on this topic, so perhaps you know far more about it than I do, but I'll definitely do my due diligence after the broadcast to see if that's something that might be a viable alternative. Ludi Coden says, uh, my food crime of the week, I made a burrito with Brussels sprouts cream cheese, and steak sautéed in peppers. A burrito with Brussels sprouts. Like, okay, steak, fine. Cream cheese and steak, all right. Sautéed peppers, cream cheese, and steak in a burrito, all right. I'd prefer it without the sautéed peppers, but at least it's normal. But then Brussels sprouts? Do you hate your life? Why? So many other options. Like cheese. 
cheese over Brussels sprouts any day. But you know what? I'm not going to food shame. If, if that's what you love, then more power to you, my friend. Banana cream pie says another settlement needs your help. Thank you, Preston Garvey. Levartation says you get a lot more shorts doing individual props. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd get far more shorts out of that. Maybe it's one of the things where I could do both. I could do a shrine video where I show off everything, like a big office reveal. And then uh, I do individual short videos as well. Man of Warp says, and finally, okay, so this is the end of the, the, end of the joke. This is a four-part joke spanning 10, 15 minutes. Here we go. And finally, there's the tried and true kit below the belt method. Dad, did you pass every exam you ever took? All right, I'm sure antagonizing your father is the best way to go about getting sympathy from him when you're trying to relay your own personal failure. Smart. Ryder Wheeler says, uh, Evening Ox, I again have all the Assassin's Creed games played and under my belt with the latest edition of Mirage. Short, but very interesting game. Thank you, Ryder Wheeler, a game I'm also interested in playing at some point. Nuka Tom says, I see your rum and coke and raise you my vodka and quantum. Ooh, a friend found the Jones Soda CO that makes Nuka Quantum Soda and it tastes just like Ronald Laren said. Uh, that's one thing I haven't tried is the Jones Soda Nuka Cola Quantum. I really want to try it one of these days. It looks delicious. Okay, trying to figure out where we are. We're at the 30 minute mark of this broadcast. And then I think I went offline after like 15 minutes in the last one. So let's round up and say we got about 15 minutes or so left in the Q&A portion of the broadcast. And then we move on to the game. Uh, Signata says no longer gonna play Poppy's Playtime. <laughs> nah, the game pissed me off. Uh, all right, maybe I'll try and revisit the boss at some point, but for right now, I'm playing a different game. If we finish it early, ask me again, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, a solid 30 minutes with no interruptions, that's a good sign for the rest of the evening. But remember back when I was doing all my Mad Max broadcasts? Was the last? No, it was two years ago. I mean, we would go for two or three hours without a problem, and then suddenly out of the blue, this would happen. So, so yeah, I've been, I've been struggling with this for a while. Tim Judge says, it's not a loot box, it's a spiral. Thank you for that. My only disappointment is that the spiral is not fully explained to us unless we beat the game on NG+, <clears throat> which I don't want to do. I am disappointed in this, this new fad of turning every game into an NG+, game. Oh, thank you for playing our game. You dropped $60 on it, and I bet you were expecting the ending, but no, no, you want the real ending? Play the entire game again. Yeah, nothing else changes very much, but we'll give you the real ending if you play it again. Doesn't sit right with me. Mr. Red says, Ox, do you prefer the Fallout 3 and New Vegas plasma and laser pistol design or the Fallout 4 and 76 design? I feel, I feel like you asked me this last week. Um, and I think I'll give you the same answer, which was that I don't really... So the plasma pistol and... A rifle definitely had different designs between the games, and I prefer the Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 version of the plasma pistol and rifle. The laser pistol and rifle are very similar. Like, even the ones in Fallout 3 in New Vegas had the green rectangular box as the chamber within which the laser is generated. Now, the trigger and the stock was a little different, but the actual mechanism was very much the same. Um, but even then, I think I would say that they improved upon the feeling of the weapon um, in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. C. 
Signata says, forgot I had one of these. Is Fatal Frame still on the two-player list? I, I had it on, on my list. The problem is that um, when, my, when this computer died, it had my list on it. And it wasn't in the cloud. Smart me. So I, I got to make a new list of games. I mean, thankfully, I'm going to get this computer up and running again soon. Uh, and I'll get all of that back. But uh, yeah, Fatal Frame. I'll add it. Brandon Belfed says, what is Megatron's favorite muscle group to work out? Bicepticons. Cheers, Ox, he says. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon Belfed, for that. In the morning, I plan to work out my Bicepticons. My Tricepticons. My Glutepticons? Gustavo Play says, best way to tell that your dad that you failed an exam is to not do it at all. If he asks, gaslight him. Question if he should visit a doctor. Gaslight your father. Always a popular method. Thank you, Gustavo Plays. Ludy Coden says, 15 minutes left, quick. Salted popcorn with pickle juice? Go! Oh, you're just trying to rage me is what you're trying to do. I, you're just making things, you're just you're just spouting off foods that clearly don't go together just to enrage me. And it's not going to work. Cheers, brother, and don't die too much. I play the game. Oh, can you die a lot in this game? All right, I'll try not to die too much. Popcorn with pickle juice, just, of course, of course. A match made in heaven. Thomas McCormick says, time to give us all what we need, Ox, an Elden Ring playthrough. <laughs> the huge DLC is being released in a few months. A perfect time to start a playthrough. Um, probably not. I, you know, I, I tried it. I streamed Elden Ring for two or three broadcasts, I think, and, you know, I just, I didn't get into it. Not my kind of thing. Alt Grindle says, Risky Mage's father has passed on. He wanted you to know. Thank you for letting me know, Alt Grindle. Risky Mage, you have my condolences. I'm so sorry for your loss. Uh, and I hope that you're surrounded by people who can love and support you during this time. Thank you for sharing. And again, condolences. Nora Soul Shield with a super tip. Thank you so much, Nora Soul Shield. And that was Nora's first super uh, super tip on the broadcast. My son keeps coming into my office and grabbing... My chunks. He says they look delicious. And he wants to try them. And he, he keeps on saying, Dad, can I get these in real life? And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. They don't sell chunks in real life. But the problem is that he sees it and it exists in this form. So in his mind, he's like, why can't it exist in a real form too? I mean, it shouldn't, shouldn't it be easier to make a fake chunk than, or to make a real chunk than a fake chunk like this? And so he keeps hounding me. He's like, Dad, I want some chunks. <laughs> I'm like, no, sorry. I, there's no such thing. This is all there is. You have to deal with it. Laney88 says, listen, Oxhorn, I know it's taboo to tell people how to play a game. <laughs> Go on. I get it all the time. People tell me how to play games all the time. It's okay. But in Elden Ring, you're supposed to explore all of the first area before the first story boss. I didn't fight him till I was level 40. I hear ya. I hear ya. But I, if I recall, I, I, I did explore a bit. And I found this weird boss in a cave. And I couldn't be defeat him. 
And then there was a guy on a horse that was right at the beginning, and I couldn't defeat him. And so after all of these failures, I then said, oh, well, they must want me to progress with the story. Surely the first story boss I'm going to be able to defeat. But no, I mean, I got close. I did get close. Go back and rewatch it. I got, like, there were a few times I tried over and over and over again. But I got pretty close, but not close enough. And I just didn't want to put in the time that it would take. Like, it's, that's the kind of game where you have to enjoy the time you're spending building your character and learning each boss repeatedly over and over again through multiple deaths to understand the timings correctly so that you can find success. And I can understand that. I get that. I can appreciate that. But I'm not that kind of gamer. Like, I want, I don't want to be barred from the story by just some something arbitrary, like die 15 times before you understand how to defeat this guy and then we'll give you more story. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's a challenge, but I don't know. Perhaps I'll revisit it at some point. Man of Warb says, uh, this is why my Courier 6 will always use energy weapons. Energy ammo recycling equals used cells plus Veronica or Eddie E. Or Eddie. Ballistic ammo recycling equals sent casing or spent casings plus powder plus primer, all of the right caliber. So many ways to go about it, New Vegas. Yeah, no wrong way to do it, I don't think. David Granson says, not sure how your streaming works exactly, but I wondered if an AWS virtual could be the distro point to the different platforms instead of simultaneous streaming directly. That way you're sending signal to only one location. Um, well, that is what I'm doing. I, I, well, it, it's, it, it's, AWS is probably involved in there somewhere, but I'm using a service, a third-party service that handles the multi-platform distribution for me. So I send my signal to one location. That one location then distributes it to every platform I'm broadcasting on, YouTube, Kick, Facebook, and Twitch. Um, all I changed was just nixing that. So I'm not live on Facebook, Kick, or Twitch right now as part of my experiment, as part of my process of trying to figure out what the problem was. I, I just put in my YouTube stream key. I'm broadcasting only to YouTube right now, and it worked, which doesn't make sense. Like, that shouldn't... There's no reason why it should work right now, but it did. Of course, it could have been that Comcast finished all of its issues at the same time that I was conducting this experiment, and the two were not related at all, so... Levartation says, I was going to make a real chocolate chunks item. Oh, man, if you ever do, you need to share photos on Twitter or something with me so I can, I can see it because that sounds delicious. This is the chocolate chunk that he made for me. And it looks, look at that. Wouldn't you just like to chow down on a big old honking piece of chocolate like that? Looks great. Rachel says you could make tiny shelves for chunks on that small amount of wall between your windows. <laughs> uh, like that. Right there. Just chunk, 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 chunk. Yes, fill up every white space in the office <laughs> with, with props. Tim Judge says, uh, getting nervous about your debut as the lone survivor. <laughs> <laughs> on the Fallout TV show, they were right in casting you. So Tim Judge, of course, is spreading falsehoods. That's right. This is the definition of fake news, Tim. I am not involved in the Fallout TV show. I have not had any communication with anyone at the Fallout TV show. I have said that repeatedly over and over again. And just because I add... At the end, something like, if I had been contacted by them, I probably wouldn't be able to talk about it, in which case I'd still say, no, I have not had any relations with um, and any contact with the Fallout TV show people. Just because I say that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm hiding anything. I could be telling completely the truth, which is that, no, I'm not involved. I'm not casting anything. I'm not voicing anything. I'm definitely not playing anyone who's speaking on the Pip-Boy radio at any point during the show. That is definitely not something I was ever hired to do. I am not involved in it. I'd love to be, but I'm not. So, 
Let's not go around spreading rumors. Tim. Ludy Coden says, what cigar are you smoking tonight? Tonight I am smoking a... I'm smoking an Iron Horse. Iron Horse tonight. Joe Googe says, that's exactly what someone in that situation would say. Yeah, which is what I was saying. I was simply saying that that's what someone in that situation would say, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm saying it because I'm someone who's in that situation. I'm not in that situation. I'm saying that I'm not in the situation. If I were in the situation, I would say that I'm not in the situation, but I'm not in the situation, and I'm just telling you the truth when I say that I'm not in that particular situation. There's no reason to get confused about this or to think that I'm lying. I don't have a history of lying on this program. <laughs> Guys? Gustavo Play says, every time you talk about Comcast problems, I remember the South Park episode about the cable guys getting getting off and rubbing their nipples when taking complaints from customers. <laughs> I remember that, too. Is that what the origin of the, sorry, <laughs> that's now become a meme. So sorry. Yeah, no, I, they, they just, they relish it. They just, they, they relish hurting their customers is what they do. Mr. Red says, okay, Ox, question. Would you rather be raised as a member of the Children of Adam or the Cult of Mothman? That's interesting. Um, hmm. I guess I would say Cult of Mothman. Uh, so there are violent members of both factions. There are violent members of the Cult of Mothman and peaceful members of the Cult of Mothman. As we learned during the Cult of Mothman event in Fallout 76, which I covered in a video. And there are also peaceful members of the Children of Adam and violent members of the Children of Adam, even during the times of Fallout 4. I think I would choose Mothman because with the Cult of Adam, you have to live in nuclear fallout. Like, they, they seek out places awash in Adam's glow and live there. And I don't think I would last very long, and if I did last long, I'd probably turn into a ghoul, which I don't want. So... I think I'd go with the uh, Mothman cultists if forced. Tim Judge says that ghoul makeup won't hide you, Ox. No, they, they, cast a, they cast a thin guy as the ghoul. There's only one ghoul as far as I know. Uh, Walter Goggins, I believe his name is, and he's a thin guy, right? So I can't, like, if, if you see a thin guy in ghoul makeup, it's not me because I'm a big guy. And it... The ghoul makeup isn't going to hide the bigness. There's very little that can hide hide this bigness. So <laughs> Trust me, if I ever dish you up on camera, you'll notice. I'll just say that. <laughs> oh, cold, alcoholic coffee. That's exactly what I need right now. Walter Goggins, Hellcat. Thank you. Walter, Walter Goggins. Robert Down says, "I miss your suspenders. Yeah, I need, I need to, I need to get them back. They'll, they'll come back eventually. Don't worry. The suspenders aren't gone. They're just in hiding, and they'll be back someday." Nora Soul Shield says, Hi Ox, I messed that last message up, lol. I meant to add that it's my birthday on Saturday. If I may have a smoke ship for the day. Thank you. Oh, absolutely, Nora. Well, at, here we go. Urara Ur says, Your wrestling name is The Bigness. That'd be a great wrestler. I, I would totally love that wrestler name. If I was in the whole WWE thing, I would so be The Bigness. I could be a bad guy, I could be a good guy. Doesn't matter, I'd be the bigness. Yeah, like it. Anyway, Nora, happy birthday. Let's do a ship. Let's see, what kind of ship could we do? Ah. Uh, There's isn't really a ship that goes well with the game we're playing, because the game we're playing takes place in a cave, and there's not a lot of water in ships and caves. Well, let's let's do a, a USS Constitution. We did that last week. 
but it's a great ship. And it's Fallout themed. Here we go. This is for Nora. Don't blink. If you do, you'll miss it. Did you see it? Only for the briefest of moments, but we had the USS Constitution in the middle of Boston, and Nora was on board celebrating her birthday with the robots there who were giving her a cake. I know. The thought just came to me while I was in the middle of crafting that with nothing but this and smoke. Happy birthday, Nora. Chen Yang says, would you like the power of the dragonborn? I mean, yeah. That'd be great. I'll... I'll Video game powers and, you know, superhero powers are great if they existed. They don't, but if they did, I'd, I'd love a superhero power. Rachel Peterson says, do you know about the Fallout set for Magic the Gathering? I'm so excited. Yeah, I heard about it earlier on the broadcast. And for Magic the Gathering fans, I'm super excited for you. Wayne Azing says, Aloha, Oxhorn. Did you know 3.14% of sailors are pirates? Cheers! Also, Oxhorn Plush is awesome. Hardcore. Hardcore to the mega. Thank you, Wayne Azing. Love the pie joke there. I'm glad you're enjoying the plush. Mr. Red says, I'm still sad Bethesda didn't continue the tradition of having a Monty Python reference in a Fallout game. I mean, there are only so many Monty Python references that you can have. <clears throat> but it's true that in Fallout 2, there was a Monty Python reference. In Fallout New Vegas, there was a, a Monty Python reference. Um, was there one in Fallout 1? I know in Fallout 2, there was the Knights of the Round Table and the Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch. I don't recall any in Fallout 1. And then in Fallout New Vegas, there was the, 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 the Gang of Grannies as a Wasteland, uh, uh, a wasteland encounter. And then I think the Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch was in Fallout New Vegas as well. Tim Judge says the Junkyard Cat Chowder can be your tag partner. I like that. That'd be great. Time Oxhorn says Alt Grendel. Oh my God, have I lost track of time already? I have. Thank you, Alt Grendel. Give me a second and uh, we'll switch to the game. Uh, since I had to restart my computer multiple times with the, the whole internet issue, I got to get everything back up and running that was off earlier. So give me a second here. Why drive it? Steam is trying to update because of course it is. Give me just a second here. Come on, game. There we are, and... Yes! All right, looks like it's working. How's the picture look? Ryder Wheeler says, Ox, if you ever do a mod muster, I'd suggest the Unique Uniques mod changes all named legendaries of the main game and makes them actually unique. 
Thank you, Ryder Wheeler. That was actually recommended earlier in the broadcast, and I believe uh, at some point in the past, because I remember it, and it sounds like a wonderful mod. I'd love to cover it. Arcane says, hey, Ox, hope everything is going well. Love the plushie. Thank you, Arcane. Things are going better now that I'm actually alive, and I'm glad you got the plushie and that you enjoy it. For those of you who want to get your hands on the plushie before they're gone, you're going to want to snag it now, because I've already sold over half of them. And once they're gone, they're gone, so snag your Ox plushie today. <laughs> okay. Now, I uh, briefly did a test game just to make sure that it would work, so we're going to go new game here. Whoop. I don't want to put a ring on my wooden table here. Move my scotch. Okay, so this is the tent that I was talking about, that our little our character arrives in. Looks like we've got a picture of family. Uh, this must be the wife and children, and we are a spelunker. Here we are in the dark. What's the light source? inside this tent there's light shining on the what's the light source huh all right well something is beeping out here there we go Hold left mouse to fire the scanner. Sarah says, million dollar idea. Chowder YouTube shorts. Cheers. <laughs> you want to see the animals, do you? Okay, so with this VR headset, we get an idea of what the cave looks like. Red is closer to us and blue is further away. There's the tent that we came from. And yeah, I don't see a light source in there. And it looks like the dots don't fade very fast. So as long as we keep spraying, we can get a great detailed picture of what we are generating here. Nice. What a cool concept. I just love the idea of this. Okay, so uh, we were camping down here. I guess we gotta find a way out. I'm not sure why we'd, we would leave all of our camping supplies though. Nobody had been as deep as this for thousands of years. I was utterly alone. No call for help would ever reach the surface. All right, so that's his internal monologue, I guess. My friends all told me I was crazy. My wife couldn't understand my obsession. But I had to know if the myths were true. Oh, what are the myths about this cave? All right, so that's a dead end. Looks like it keeps on going this way, I think. 
Yeah, there's a ramp over here. Yeah, there it is. What a neat idea. Why am I only just now hearing about this game? Okay, wait a minute. So we've got a path over here. Uh, that goes off that way. Does it connect to the path over here? I think it does. Yeah, that goes back towards where we came from. Okay, so. So I guess up here? says chat has voted and we have ratified chowder shorts make it so we have spoken <laughs> oh man the thing is chowder doesn't perform on command he's he's actually a, a very demanding cat he's he's not really nice like he doesn't he doesn't do things like cuddle he's not a snuggly cat he makes demands and he wants you to turn on the water so he can drink from the sink and at night he sleeps in the sink i don't know why he just likes it and that's all he does he just meows at you until you turn on the water, and then he sleeps in the sink. He doesn't like to cuddle or anything. What have we here? Uh, looks like we can't interact with it, but it also looks like there's some sort of structure up above us. So someone has been here before us and erected these uh, laser emitters to show, ooh, to showcase this structure. Oh. What? You hear that? Ah. Aperture control. Use the mouse wheel or Q and E to change the aperture. Could this place have been even older than the legends suggested? The resolution was astonishing. Never before had such a powerful geological scanner been available. Oh, gotta jump. That's really wide. So this is going to be good for filling in a place. That's better for distance. Adam M. says, you don't have to sell it to us. We're already interested. That's what you want to see? You want to see Chowder being a naughty cat? All right. Nuka Tom says, first Chowder shorts, then body pillow. There is no body pillow. This is a figment of your imagination. Why are you guys so interested in a body pillow that does not exist? Tim Judge says, daily cup of Chowder. That would be a good name for the shorts, wouldn't it? Do I need to worry about monsters? Is this a game where you can die? Or is it... Oh. Oh. Oh, what is that?
crap! What's going on here? Oh, it's facing me. Oh, it's facing me! Why is it moving? Well, I suppose we should talk to it. Stop moving. Nuka Tom says, Don't blink, don't even blink, blink, and you're dead. Oh no. This isn't a weeping angel sort of thing, is it? God, I, I hate that so much. Oh, it's turning now! Dear lord. Alright, is this the way I... No, I haven't gone this way yet. It's not following me. Okay, that's a big drop off. Can I? Hmm. Okay, so that's a big hole. Um. And that's a big hole too. So I can't go that way. Now this is the way I came from. Yeah, there's the there's the the bridge I crossed, which means I have to go this way. Okay, so I feel like I gotta get back there somewhere. There is an opening back there. And I can move the statue in the middle. But the, the direction, where do I move it to? There's rubble in the way.
Okay, he's now facing that gap. Nope, now he's facing me. Okay, so he only turns when my back is turned. Maybe he can't be facing that way. See, he faces me when I turn around. <clears throat> okay. I can't crouch. Well, if this is the first puzzle, I, I'm already at a loss. We've got pillars that are knocked over, as well as giant boulders that have fallen through blocking this passage. We have an altar in the middle of this room with a bunch of tipped over pillars and an, a noise. And the statue in the middle faces whatever direction I am standing in, but only when my back is turned. Wait a minute. Oh, I found another path. Oh my god, I found another path. Yay. I think. Okay, so we got a big drop over here. This is trippy. Okay, so this is a large, mostly empty chamber. Looks like there's a path, a passageway up there. This looks like another drop off into the stones below, so I'm standing on a platform. Oh, it looks like I can't go back. No, I can. Okay. You can jump pretty high in this game. All right, so that's where I dropped down from. That's a solid wall, which means we go this way.
Press right mouse button to zoom. Okay. So we've got a couple, a couple of passageways here. A number of uh, bridges. Okay. So it looks like the bridge ahead of us is out, and we can't jump that length. So we need to drop down here. Ooh. Okay, so this way is out, but this way... Appears to work. Oh, this is so cool. And that bridge is out too, so we can't go that way. Interesting. I wonder if we're going to be able to co uh, come back here later. Well, let's go forward. Okay. Found a staircase. I see. All right. Well, what's down here, though? I'm guessing it's a dead end. Yeah, we've got another rock fall. And a cave in. All right, so we're exploring some sort of ancient subterranean structure. This is why we came here before we... I don't know, did we, did we lose our party? Did we miss our... Did we lose some gear or something? Why did we appear in that tent in darkness? Can we make it? Or do we gotta drop again? All right, so there's another... We could drop. If we drop down there, we can go over there and then drop down there and go over there. I just don't know if that's, if we can jump that. I'm gonna try it. Ah! Okay, so then we can drop down here. I got startled by the noise and it made me walk into a hole. <laughs> Shoot. All right, all right, I died. I get it, I get it. Now what? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm back. All right, so we climbed up here. All right, I just ignore the noise. <laughs> From now on. All right, he appears on that. All right, let's paint our path ahead so that we can just ignore it and keep going. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, where'd it go? Oh, where'd it go? Okay. We're okay. Oh, where'd he go? They never did iron out all the glitches. Sure, that was just a glitch. That's what that was. It was just, just a glitch. Sometimes you'd see sensor echoes from days earlier. Calibrations turned to ghosts? Oh no. <laughs> Please, I don't want ghosts, but even so, I never could explain everything I saw. Is 
Is that a dead end? I think that's a dead end. I think we go this way. Scotch time. Oh. Cranjus McBasketball says, what are we drinking every time Ox ties? I'll leave that up to you guys. Come to a consensus. I've got my scotch and my Irish coffee. But I'm definitely not drinking every time I die. I gotta pace myself, see? I gotta get through the program. Ooh. Well, we got to get to that, but we don't want to walk right off the ledge. Definitely can't jump that, I don't think. Oh, please don't tell me I got to jump that. I can't jump that. That's way, like, from there to there? No way. Uh, what do they want me to do? I can't jump that. I would die. Oh. Hello, wait a minute. No, I don't see a bridge below me. No way. There's no way. No way. See that ledge down there? Maybe I gotta land on that. Down there. I'm gonna try it. That's a long drop. Levartation says, Ox, we are drinking. Slow it down. <laughs> I'm not trying to die. It's just sort of happening. All right, maybe this one? Oh. Uh, 
I heard a noise. He thought he heard a noise. Ha ha! Oh, for Pete's sake. Ooh, there's a cave over there. Look at that. So I am supposed to get over there. I mean, the nice thing is the colors tells me how close I am. Which means I'm closest to that big rock than I am to that one from here. And I'm closer to that small one than I am to anything else from here. But how can I jump it? I've already tried so many times. go around? Oh, I think I see a path. Oh, this is how we do it. Oh, this is tight. Oh, this is super tight. Oh, <laughs> I think we see a path, but I can't do it. I can't go that way. Uh, was that a tin can? Who knocked over a tin can? Oh, I'm not alone. I am not alone. Yeah. Yeah. This is awful. Oh, this is awful. Oh. There we go. We got it. Okay. That was the hard part, I think. There we go. Oh. And then it wraps around and goes back over there. Ah, oh, I see. Oh. I'm, I got a glitch. I'm getting a glitch. You see it over there? Oh! That's, that's one of the ghosts. He's falling. Whenever the ghost appears, it interferes with my lasers so that I can't lay down the particles. Looks like I will have to jump. Unless... Unless this goes around, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Oh, but that's above me. Can I make that? Was the ghost trying to tell me I should do it there or here? Okay, this is shorter, but it's above me. 
Would it be better to drop down from here? I think so. I think I can make that. All right, here we go. Yes! Oh, 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 we are on the other side, ladies and gents. We made it. We are on the other side. Oh no, not this again. Yes! Yay! We did it. Okay. Burst scan. Press B to initiate burst scan. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, I gotta wait for it to recharge. Okay, well... I don't see where I'm supposed to go. That's a solid rock. Bunch of stalagmites down there. Am I supposed to just slide down this? I guess I'm just going to have to slide down this. Uh, Celt, uh, Celt, uh, Celtic Clink's Gaming Adventures says, Oxhorn, since you're using a CPU that can handle lower loads, now is a great time, not right this second, to try Telltale's The Walking Dead. I, too, was put off by the graphics for some time, but trust... Okay. All right. Well, I've definitely had it recommended a lot of times. That ledge behind you, says the chat. Uh, yeah, I did see something over there, but I think that's the rock face. That's not a ledge that I can drop down to. Let's uh, go over here and see if we can get a better look at it. Yeah, it's not a ledge we can drop down to. It's just a sheer drop and there's no walkway. Okay, I'm guessing I have to drop. Unless there's something over here. I think we have to drop and slide. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Whew. Okay. What is that? There's something down there.
Okay, here we go again. Is that another slide? I think so. Naughty Applejack says, can't you just live in the cave? Yeah, at this point, maybe I should just stay in the cave. All right, hold on a second, everybody. I need a quick bio break. I'll be right back. Hang tight. Okay, I'm back. You didn't see any ghosts while I was away, did you? We're good on ghosts. Okay, I think we got a slide again. a sheer drop. Ah, there we go. Pineapple Man became a bronze ox. Thank you so much, Pineapple Man. And the Raging Krogan says, Ox, why does this game look like a bad Ayahuasca or Peyote Trip Simulator? <laughs> well, I wouldn't know, um, but I'll take your word for it. Not entirely sure. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I thought that was... I see. Aha! Oh. 
Oh, sneaky. Sneaky. Whew, okay. Out of the woods. There we go. Found it. Oh, another ledge. Oh, I'm glad I didn't drop down. I almost did. We should probably be going up, right? We're trying to get out of the cave to go home. So we've got a doorway here. What is this place? Like some sunken temple. Are these all hewn archways in this giant cave? Sheer drops over here. And then a pathway up leading to another doorway. Look at that. Another doorway. Well, what's in this one? It's filled in with rubble. Okay, we gotta go up. Is that a tree? Underground, really. The temple must have been over a thousand years old, I say to myself. I knew they existed. I'd searched for the cultists all my life. Oh, they're cultists? Great. But to finally see it in person, to be the first.
Ah, okay. Ooh. Whoa, that looks like some sort of altar. Another one. Okay, so it's some sort of uh, tree antler nature cult, I'm guessing. We've got a destroyed altar here. And all of these figures are wearing antlers or tree branches or something. And we see these trees all over the place. I mean, they couldn't have grown underground, so the trees must have been hauled down below, or perhaps they're not real trees and real roots. Perhaps they're carved out of stone as some sort of decoration. This was where they performed the sacrifices. Oh, of course. Human sacrifices. Wouldn't be a horror game without human sacrifices. The more I scanned around the altar, the more it revealed. Getting a lot of interference. Looks like that's my way out. Oh, that's a human shape. That is a human shape on top of the altar. Why? Why won't my lasers penetrate it? Is it an open void? Is it a human shaped open void or is it like a ghost or something? Right. Press M to view map. Oh, whoa.
that is so cool. Prison one, two, three. Cultist monastery. I haven't been there. Oh, I can move around. All right, so we're going to prisons. Let's go back the way we came. This is the cultist temple, which we scanned. Is it remembering how thoroughly I scanned the place? We came up here. There's the big cultist statue we saw. That was a dead end. Oh, and then this is that winding passage along the edge. This is where I got the burst scan. There's a chasm. So I am climbing. All right, I'm making progress. That's where I got aperture control, and that's where I started. That's where I got the scanner. So I came all the way through there. I always wondered how many poor bastards they threw over the ledge. Whenever I'm near the ghosts, I get interference and it reduces the efficiency of my laser output. Up, oh, tight corner. The cultists believed the cave itself was malevolent, that the dead could never escape. Their victims were doomed to relive their final tortured hours forever. Really? Oh god. No wonder people went mad down here. <laughs> and we're down here though. Does that mean we're mad? Is any of what I'm experiencing now real, or is this part of a mad hallucination? All right, so we're at prison one. Yeah, we're in the prisons. Oh dear God, don't look in the cells. This is one of the cells. It's open. That's a stool. I gotta say, I'm enjoying the music. More stools. Okay. 
Now, here, and then, yeah, there we go. Think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is above the altar. Oh, okay. I see where we're at. We came back above it. Let's get out of here. Hope none of you are claustrophobic. Hope no one has fear of spelunking. The cultists slept and ate here. Oh, this is the barracks. Like the monks who came after, they spent their time in silent prayer to an unanswering god. All right, so we're on our way to the cultist monastery. There's the prison that we just explored. And then we found that path out, went, which went over the cultist temple, and is now leading to the monastery. New cigar!
Okay, so both of these paths go back to the monastery barracks. This leads up and out. There we go. Up, up, up. Okay, big wet cave. Is that a river? That is a river. Well, we found an underground river. There's a bridge that crosses the chasm. The river. Oh, this is so cool. See how the light fades away because the river's moving. That's neat. What a cool touch. That is a lot of stalactites, right? Stalagmite comes from the bottom. Stalactite comes from the top. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, have you thought about playing the Outlast Trials? It came out last year, but it's incredibly gory and brutal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can't, uh, I can't stream Cyberpunk without getting demonetized. The past few live streams of Cyberpunk, even though there hasn't been a lot of nudity or, or even a lot of gore, they've all been demonetized. So, I don't think I could go through a game like Outlast Trials. Especially since the last Outlast game I played, Outlast 2, had a bunch of stuff that I just didn't want to see, like dead babies and stuff like that. And I just, I don't know. I don't want to deal with that, no. We got a lake here. Can we can we go into the lake? Will touching water hurt us? If video games have taught me anything, it's that if you touch water, you instantly die. Maybe I don't go that way. Maybe I need to go this way. This leads back to the river. <clears throat> Bustavo plays says, Outlast Trials is fun, but it does have dudes with their meat swinging in the wind. So I can't stream it. Yeah, Outlast has uh, has a thing about dudes with the meat swinging. I actually streamed Outlast 1 in its entirety many years ago, and I thought it was fine until the very end when we start walking around and there's a bunch of dudes with their meat swinging. And I'm like, wow, why is all this meat swinging? There's not even a breeze. And no, we just had dudes with meat swinging. For no good reason, they were just guarding a door, and then they allow us access. We're like, well, what was that? What was the purpose of the meat? 
And then Outlast 2 had dead babies, and I was like, I don't like this, so I stopped with Outlast. Okay, I'm gonna try touching the water. All right, here we go. Yay! Oh, no. No, no, doesn't like this. There we go, we're out of the water. All right, so we can wade just a little bit. That is a torture cage. Dunk people in the water until they drown. Yes! I could have sworn I saw a little gap over here. Can I not get through that gap? Okay, every time I touch the water, my gear malfunctions, and I can no longer use it. So I gotta paint a picture before I touch the water, so that I can know where I'm going. Cat's Paw 79 says, glad I made it to your stream box. Love you, man. Love you too. Thank you so much for coming. The Raging Krogan with a super tip. Thank you so much, The Raging Krogan. Right, let's figure this out. We're clearly missing something. Oh! Oh, God! Come on. Okay, here we go. The witch trials came much later. They used to drag witches down here and purge them in huge numbers, evil throughout the ages. There's no doubt they believed in the myths. It was no accident they chose this cave. They wanted to imprison the evil down here as eternal punishment. 
So, what kind of cultists? Pagan cultists? Christian cultists? The whole human sacrifice thing made me think pagan cultists, but now the whole witch burning thing makes me think, well, witch torturing thing makes me think Christian cultists, so I'm not sure now. Okay, I guess we, we walk around this. Yeah. Crap. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? What was that? What? Oh, come on, man. What was that? <laughs> We're gonna just have this, this otherworldly scream, man. God. It's bull crap. Oh, okay. Okay. Levartation says, Ox meant to ask, opinion on Vim bottle cap size? Oh, I, I haven't really thought about it, but I would imagine that it would be a standard bottle cap size. I would model the bottle itself after um, the size of a Nuka-Cola bottle. It should be about the same height, and then the bottle cap should be very similar to a Nuka-Cola bottle cap, only with the Vim logo on it, I'd think. I wouldn't imagine it would be larger. Okay, well, back into the water. Oh, what's that? Is that moving? Is that moving? Was that moving? Nope, just water. Okay, passageway. But the water continues that way. Do we take the water around? No, I think we go down here. I did wonder if it was true, of course. No way these were just glitches. <laughs> I mean, we did hear a scream. That's, uh, that much death occurring in such a confined space. What horrors must they have seen in their final moments? We've got two paths here. We've got a path over there and a path over there. Well, I guess it's the other one then. Yep. Wait a minute.
I guess we go to the light. Unless we can jump on that, but I don't think we can. Does not want me on the water. Ah. <laughs> you, why? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, wait a minute. I think I see a path down there. This is the first one we went down. Or is that the way we came from? No! Okay, yeah. Just glitches. Just, yeah, we're just experiencing glitches with the system here. It's totally not ghosts. Jeez. They really do not want us touching the water. Well, we could drop down into the drink. Looks like there is something over there, though. Ah, here we go. light again, that yellow light. Steph's Movies and Music says, just joined in. So you may have addressed this, but why did you change your camera angle, Ox? I changed my camera angle because I'm having to broadcast from a different computer than I usually broadcast from, and it's situated differently in my office. Um, so until I get my regular streaming computer fixed, I'll be broadcasting like this for the foreseeable future. Probably a couple more weeks at least. 
Okay, we have got a, a stone steps and a platform over there, but then we've got this bridge over here as well. I think they connect to the same place, though. Wait, is this where I came from? Crap, this... Yeah, this is where I came from. What's over here? This is where we get the little yellow thing. What is the little yellow thing? Oh no, it's on the other side. Ah, come on. Uh, I gotta go up there. Doggone it. sound effect I want on that really narrow portion. <laughs> Sensor upgrade. The scanner resolution has been increased. Yay! Oh, look at that. There we go. That's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, two options. We could go up there. We came from there. We could go up here. Looks like the two paths might converge. There's another path over here. Yeah, this is the other path we could have taken. It converges here. Oh, I see. But then we have to go over there to go around there. Ah, okay. Tilly says the chat says that I missed a few super chats. Terribly sorry about that. Let me see if I can rectify that mistake. Uh, scrolling up. Levertation became a bronze ox. Thank you, Levertation. The Raging Krogan says, removed my chat accidentally. I just wanted to say there's a game series called Psychonauts that you might like. You know, I played uh, the original Psychonauts way back in the day, like 2008. And even then, it had been a game that had been out for several years. And um, yeah, I played it with a friend of mine. It was fun. It, it was like an adventure game, right? A cartoony, a little walk-around three-dimensional adventure game. Don't know if it was my style, but I know there have been several Psychonauts games since then that I haven't, uh, I haven't tackled yet. Okay, I think that's everything I've missed so far. Crap, now I'm turned around. There we go. Why? Why you gotta do me like that? What was that thing that got us in the water? Just, I want to know. What was it? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Alley up. Uh, can we even make that? Is there anything else we can do? Yes!
cages on the shore, ready to be filled with witches. And the way forward. There we go. Whew, boy, so that's the lake exit. Good golly. Steph's movies and music says, feels like I'm watching a weather radar. <laughs> it does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? Come on! Why? Ooh. a boat do we take the boat we go Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Levartation says, me too, but side by side, thin cap is so much smaller. Really? Are you talking about the model in the actual game? You're saying that the actual game model of the cap is smaller? That's interesting. Ah, I don't know. I, I'd be kind of, I guess I would have to see how it looks in real life. I mean, the opening of a bottle can only be so small. A larger opening is gonna be easier to drink from. Steph's Movies and Music says, thanks for all your hard work. Thank you for watching Steph's Movies and Music. Oh, wow. Okay, the, the ceiling of the cave is wet and dripping water. So my light particles don't stick to it. That's really cool. That's really neat. Don't touch the sides. Uh, ah, crap. I'm scraping my boat. Okay, what's glowing in the ceiling? Like a bioluminescent fungus, maybe?
Oh yeah, this is my jam right here. Look at all of the work and creativity that went into this game. Ah, oh, now for the creepy bit. Into the dark tunnel. That looks short. That looks short. Oh, that looks short. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. Am I going to scrape my head on this? Ah, uh, that looks really short. Sagacity says the peaceful music must have to be a prelude to the scare. It always is. And now we're in the creepy, dark, short tunnel. Okay. All right, big room ahead. Big room ahead. Wow. Is that a ladder? Oh, the tunnel goes on. We've got to carry on on foot. Okay. Peaceful acoustic guitar break is over. Now back to the horror. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. It's a pickaxe. It's a miner. Material scanner. Press tab to switch sensor mode. So many have died down here. The miners that came for work, they were just as superstitious. They were terrified of this place. All those that lost their lives to negligence, are they trapped down here too? So material scanner, I guess it, it picks up things that are made of metal or objects that are man-made. Interesting. Wood. So wood is orange and metal is white. Ah! Oh, <laughs> falling bodies! Ah! Oh. That is so creepy.
Keeps going up. This is great. Ooh, what's that? It's just a rock. This is great. It means it's going to lead to like a mine entrance. Hopefully. Does that mean we're near the end of the game? Surely not. Your wind. dead end. Bunch of dead miners there. Okay, so if uh, orange is wood and white is metal, I'm guessing blue is concrete. Are those statues? But that doesn't make sense. Okay, so orange must not denote wood. It must denote organic. So then are those bodies? Like calcified bodies or something? But I think this is where we came from. Wait, no. Yeah. Okay, we could jump down. I guess that's not where we came from. Oh, wait. Ah. matter that all of this is in my memory? Ah. 
What? Does it make it any less real? What does he mean memory? Are we not experiencing this in real time? I was there. I was the first. So he's been here before? Oh no. these miners are they statues but who would build statues of miners in a mine there's a plaque here okay maybe it's not a maybe it's like a, a museum or something maybe miners at one time worked here and they've turned it into a museum and then decorated it with like mannequins of miners because we've got plaques and displays as if this was a tourist destination. Well then what are we doing stuck in here? And what was with all the cultist stuff? <laughs> I've got so many questions. Here's another one. Yeah, we've got displays. We've got mannequins of miners hard at work. We've got gated off sections and a nice staircase as if this was a tourist destination. I remember coming down like it was yesterday. Hoping I'd find something below. Hoping it wouldn't be another empty cave. I just wish I'd been better prepared. <laughs> oh no. Well, I think that tells us what's going on here. Huh, okay, so we've got a puzzle. Two gated off sections with switches and then a pipe connecting them. Now the pipe goes on over here.
Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay, well now we're going off the beaten path. Okay, wait. Or what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh. Oh. Aha! This is the way I came. Okay, uh... So we've got this blue road that leads to the top of this hill uh, does it go around there it must go around there ah okay ah all right there we go thank you map This gets us behind one of those iron gates. Aha! Over now. Right. 
I guess we got a drop. And then follow the cord. Oh, don't get lost. Follow the cable. Oh, man. Tight corridor here. Okay, did we drop down? I think we dropped down. Yeah. Okay, that should open the freight elevator, which will let us out, I think. Oh, I hear rumbling. Oh, I hear rumbling. Oh, that's right, we've got... A really long elevator ride. What a unique concept. What a unique art style. How many times do I have to relive this? Oh no. Always the same rock, the same metal, the same stale air. And the guilt.
I just want to see my family again. I don't know how I died. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, brown is for organic. There's another light. So this goes back to the curse that he was telling us about at the very beginning. The cultists would put people down here because they believed that if you died in the cave, you would never leave. And you would relive how you died over and over again. And then at the very end, we find out that he died. And what we're going through is him reliving how he died. At least I think... Of all the memories I'm forced to relive, it's the one thing I don't remember. He doesn't remember how he died. But it breaks my heart knowing that I left my family behind. Well, wait a minute. If he got out of the cave, they are always here for me. If he's reliving how he died and he got out of the cave, what's about to happen to us? <laughs> oh, no. It's his family. The photograph we saw at the very beginning. The material scanner doesn't pick him up. So this is in his uh, memory, or this is in his vision. They're not real. They know I'm never coming back. And so they come here to scatter rose petals. This is so sad. They come here to scatter rose petals. He's got to go back. He's got to go back to relive it. All the way to the bottom.
back to the tent. Zoom in on the photo, that's it. Tug at our heartstrings. Uh. Kelsey Jennings says, sad, but doesn't that mean he was evil? No, he was, he was an archeologist researching a cult that had used the cave in the past for ritual sacrifice. He wasn't part of the cult. He wasn't killing people. He was trying to figure out. Whoa. What? Oh no, I am back. Oh no, I do have to relive it again. <laughs> they put me back. But wait, everything is lit up. Everything is lit up as if I've been here already. Remember, he said that anyone who dives in the cave is doomed to relive how he dies over and over again. The weird thing is that we didn't actually see how we died. <laughs> oh, an eternity of that torment. Wow. That is brutal. Gotta say, it was shorter than I had hoped it would be, but what a story and what a unique gaming experience. What, a, what an innovative way to tell a story. I think this is like a little bit of a sleeper hit. I haven't really heard much about it. I stumbled upon it. It was recommended to me in like the Steam queue. I didn't have anybody tell me about it, but man, I'm glad I played it. Sebastian says, wait, that was it? Yeah, I think, I think that was it. Hellcat says, curious what you'll play next Thursday. I've got a couple ideas, but I'm not sure yet. I'll definitely let you know next Thursday. I could see a game like this extended and I'd play I'd play that game I don't know how popular it would be this is definitely one of those games that appeals to a certain crowd um, it didn't have huge horror elements but it did have a couple but it was just the atmosphere of the game and the fear that came with the unique way that they showed you the world around you but yeah a, a game that was longer maybe you know six to 14 hours instead of what this was what three hours of it it's a really short game it wasn't that expensive it was less than 10 bucks i think it was uh, eight dollars or nine dollars or something like that so that makes sense the price point makes sense that way what new game plus oh no level select extras Uh, oh, prototypes, Skinner, Somber, and Wrong Wire. Okay. Level select. Uh, new game. What is New Game Plus? I mean, this goes along with the plot. I mean, he has to relive the way he died over and over again. What is included in New Game Plus? Oh, here we start again. Okay, he, he's back. All right, everything is still dark. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, we start with all of our stuff. Levartation says, Ox, you missed my super chat. Oh, sorry if I did. Let me scroll up, see if I can find it. Here we go. Sorry about that. Levartation says, yes, just reopened the game to make sure. The Vincap model is like two-thirds or three-fourths the Nuka-Cola bottle cap size. The size inconsistency is weird. It's like a rubber nipple. <laughs> um, that is weird, yeah. I don't know. In that situation, I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess I'd have to see it in real life to see if the two-thirds the size was still a viable bottle opening size. And if not, I would just make it the Nuka-Cola size. You know that, that the Coca-Cola company, and by extension, since they modeled Nuka-Cola after it, has done lots of research to try and figure out the best opening size for a bottle. So I'd probably go with that. So we start New Game Plus with all of the same stuff that we had before, including the material scanner. But wait a minute, if we have the material scanner, what materials can we discover before we got to the point in the plot where we picked up the material scanner? If his body is an organic material, can we discover how he died? But again, I don't want to play the whole game all over again just to discover how the guy died. This is my problem with every new game plus. I've played the game. I don't want to play the exact game all over again just to figure out a crucial part of the plot, which is like how this dude died. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be at the beginning. And we don't have to go very far. If anyone sees something glowing brown or orange, let me know. That would be his body. Because that's an organic material. Check behind the tent. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. I've already come all this way. It would make sense that he died near his tent, unless he pitched his tent, went exploring, and then died deeper in, and never made it back to his tent. It would be a shame if he got all the way back to his tent and then died near his tent. But I suppose it's a shame if he dies at all. Oh! Oh my god. He did die near his tent. Oh my <laughs> Has it been there? Was it there the whole time? And we didn't see it because we didn't have the material scanner. He died outside his tent. Why? He's got bottled water. First aid kit. What did he die of? Well. We found him. There he is, poor guy. He died of T-pose, says Grant Snyder. Yeah, I suppose he did. <laughs> Sebastian Sanchez says, maybe you need to do something with the bodies. I mean, I can't. I can't interact with it, so. Maybe he tripped and hit his head, says Naka Michael. Yeah, maybe. 
Well, ladies and gents, there you go. Uh, that's Scanner Somber. Uh, a really enjoyable game. I wish it was a bit longer. I'd love to explore more and have more horror elements. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I'll figure out what to do next week for Scotch and Smoke Rings. Don't worry, I'll find a good one. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's broadcast, and I think that's all for today's live streams. Still don't know why I'm having all of these connectivity problems, but when I get a solid connection, my outfit here is able to broadcast. So um, I've got it set up. I just don't understand why the connection is a big issue. Sorry to everyone on Facebook and Twitch and Kick who wanted to watch me there. Uh, I wasn't able to broadcast there today, but at least the YouTube broadcast worked. Uh, I'm working on the footage that I have for my lore video. I'm doing as much as I can, but as I said in my last lore video, I don't have all the footage captured that I need to produce the epilogue. So sadly, that video is going to have to wait until I get my new computer, get it all set up, and am able to record the footage that I'm, that I'm missing. I don't know how long that's going to be. Probably a couple of weeks until I can finish off my series on the full story of the railroad. But once I do, I'll pick the next faction in Fallout 4 to do the full story treatment of, and we'll dive down that rabbit trail. But that's going to be it for me. Uh, lots of great shorts. My editor has been hard at work producing some amazing shorts for the rest of this week and I'll be sure to get those out over the weekend. Uh, so look forward to those. If you haven't gotten the plushie yet, grab it now while you still can before I run out of stock. And besides that, thanks everybody for coming today. Thank you so much for your super chats, your donations, and uh, purchasing memberships for everybody. You guys are so generous to each other. I appreciate that. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.